boutique Asian market, and it's the first of its kind in Nevada County, offering Asian groceries and specialty items. Molly Real got a chance to check out Winnie Superette. Take a look. Yeah, you know, it's so much fun on Good Day. We get to speak with so many business owners. And something I have noticed that a lot of times when someone opens a new business, it's because they are filling a need that they themselves have or want. Uh, and that is the case here at Winnie Superette, the cutest, sweetest, most carefully curated store, uh, Asian market in the heart of Nevada City. This is Ann, the owner. And Ann, as I said, uh, this was something that, you know, for you, it meant something that that you yourself needed too. Right, exactly. Yeah, when I first moved up here a few years ago, one of the first things I noticed was um, kind of a lack of Asian ingredients um, in order you know, to cook like Korean food, which is what I miss the most. So that's kind of where the seed is planted. Yeah, you were a big city gal, Chicago, San Francisco. Uh, so an Asian supermarket was never too far away. But here you had to drive to the next big city or even order on Amazon. So you have uh, put all the things that you love into these four adorable walls. Uh, obviously, a lot of really fun ingredients, but you have pulled aside some of your uh, showstoppers here. Yes, <laughs> uh, some of my most popular items. Um, are like newer products by new Asian American brands, which is exciting. So this is a Dan Dan sauce. Uh, it has like the Sichuan heat, peppers. Um, it's great over like any noodle. People like love this. It's so easy to, to cook with. This is a crunchy black sesame butter. Um, it's like so nutty, um, a little sweet and crunchy. Put it over buttered toast or have with ice cream. Uh, this is like a roasted Japanese sesame dressing. I sell out of this every time. <laughs> it's great with salads or as like a marinade. Um, and then, yeah, one of my favorites is Kimli Park, which are these like Korean latte packets. It already comes with like a vegan creamer and organic sugar. I have at least one every day. And then, of course, Kewpie mm -hmm. mayo, which is, you know, such a staple, the Japanese mayonnaise. Yeah, that's we'll definitely one of those. If you know, you know. That's <laughs> that, I bet that sells really quickly. Uh, something else fun that you do, we'll come over here, is you support others in your community. You have uh, a few local makers and bakers featured on this table. Yes. So, yeah, today we have some baked goods by Gold Lantern Baking. Um, they made these sesame balls, which are actually filled with the black sesame butter from before. So delicious. Yeah, I actually just have a store. I just had one. It was am <laughs> amazing. So good. Yeah. And these beautiful little moon cakes as well. Yeah, she makes these matcha peanut moon cakes. Um, those are gluten free. And um, she's one of two bakers. Correct. I also work with Beehive Baking um, and I have their baked goods every Saturday. Okay, perfect. Some gorgeous ceramics. Yeah, I have some ceramics by Saskia Ceramics, um, some hand-dyed silk napkins by Lucia Le Firm, and I work with um, a local farm, Jiang Family Farm, out in Marysville for produce. And I follow you on Instagram, and others should too, because you're always posting what's new, who, what bakery is showing up that day, the mm -hmm. new items that you have in. Uh, what does it mean to you to be able to give to others what you yourself were missing as well and to support your community in doing so yeah i mean it's it's really you know special to be able to create um kind of my own little community up here um, of you know asian food lovers and to meet you know new people like every day it just makes you know it feel a little bit more like home yeah I yeah. love that. Okay, if you are in Nevada City, don't miss out. Winnie Supermarket right on Commercial Street? Yes, Commercial in York. Awesome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Let's send it back to you guys.